This looks notoriously like your tutorial question, right? Yes, some values are different. Output power of 25 watts. VO is 15 volts. And I'm given IL min is 0 0.5 of IL. Okay, okay. Just this much is given to me. Boost converter. <coughs> What we do is find out D. The easiest time, you know, the sure shot, five marks we get. See, for finding out one equation is five marks. So you have V over is one by one minus V to V in. So one minus V in by V over D. Right? So I have. 1 minus 5 by 50 or 15 minus 5 times 2 by 3. My duty ratio is 2 by 3. <coughs> exactly the same thing as you had in tutorial also, I guess. Okay. Hmm? A minimum value of the inductance required. Be very careful about when you hear minimum value of inductance. Don't jump to the conclusion that is CCM, TCM boundary. Like I said, because you have heard certain terms before, you have heard certain things before, don't jump to the conclusion it is that. The minimum value of inductance is for this situation. Which will satisfy IL minus 0.5 IL. IL minus 0.5 IL. So I, it's definitely not your boundary condition. The only way IL min can reach boundary condition is if IL is 0 and IL min is 0.5 into 0 which means 0. Right? In this case, it's whatever the part B are, the minimum value of inductance required is not for your <coughs> is not for your boundary condition. Boundary condition comes later on. So if you are not and yeah, another suggestion is please read the question fully before you start attempting it. If I would do this, and I'm assuming this is the minimum inductance, I'll do this, come here, huh, again find minimum inductance. <laughs> it has happened multiple times before. They're like, oh, so easy, I already found one, I just put copy paste the whole thing again. No. Mostly never. That way. Okay? So, for minimum inductance, what do you need? You need to know delta IL first, right? Basically, you need to find a formula which has L in it and relate to whatever is given to us. We already know what are the duty cycles here. Okay, we know what are the duty cycles here. I know, I don't know what is the input current. Can I find out the input current here? It's just PO by V in. V in is V output over I output, right? Which is the power output. So I can say this is corresponding to 25 by 5, which is 5 amperes. Okay? What's next? Look at your this guy here. This is your I in. <coughs> Will it be there for both on and off states? <coughs> I in. Is I in a function of when your switch is on or off? No, right? No. Switch is on, I in goes like this. If switch is off, I in is like this. Right? Which means I in and I L are the same thing here, right? If I find this value, this is the average value of my I L. 
de quién plais ahí él es ahí es so what is ahí él mean point five of five yes two point five mbps okay so how do i use this now if i to plot it out i get this is il positive slope negative slope and this is il min this is il max this corresponds to your il etc right and i can say <coughs> IL minus IL minus delta IL by two, or two point five five minus two point five is delta IL by two, or delta IL is sorry five MPS. So what is delta IL? Basically, this slope multiplied by the time. What is the slope? Slope is just V in by L. So Delta I L is just V in by L into <coughs> TDS. Do I know the other values? This is five. This is also five. L into two by three into time. Frequency is three hundred kilohertz. So. So what is the unknown factor here? L, right? Everything else is known to us, right? Hmm. Can I say L is just two by nine hundred into ten raised to three? Whatever this value is. So one by four fifty into ten raised to three. So what? Twenty two something possibly. Two point two two micro. And make sure you use the units correctly, please. Inductance can't be parrot. Inductance has to be Henry. I have made the mistake. I'll tend to write because when I see micro, I am thinking always thinking parrot because micro parrot is the most commonly used capacitance, you know, range of values. That is micro. L. See, yeah, I mean, start putting F here also. Even if you do it so many times, there may be possibilities. So don't assume you're going to write it correctly. If you don't write micro Henry here. We lose at least half a mark or one mark here. Ten mark question, right? So you lose two marks here. We don't forget any units here. Okay. What's next? Hmm. Now assume that the output load power is ready. Determine the corresponding output power at which the converter operates at the boundary between CCM and DCM with the inductance maintained at this value. Okay, which means I am at the boundary condition now. This current has become something like this now. Am I told anything else about the duty cycle? No, right. I'm I'm, to, I'm not told if the duty cycle is reducing or increasing or remains the same, which means I can assume it remains the same. One assumption you can make very clearly is if they say not, if they don't say about that component, that doesn't change. Don't assume it changes and you know mix things up. Okay, if here in this case we are not told if the D is changing, D remains the same because output voltage remains the same. Think of if, if it now think of this way. My load. When will my output power reduce? When when the voltage is reducing or the current is reducing? If I'm running a DC motor, for example, right? So if I, for my laptop, the voltage to the motor is go, always going to be the same. But depending on the speed of the motor, my current is going to increase or decrease, which means the load power is going to increase or decrease. So my V O remains the same, which means my D is still zero two by three. 
my L now is 2.2 micro Henry. Right? I don't know what the power is. Why would I need the power? Because I need to find what the value of the load is, right? To find out what is the output power. So what is the formula for? And this L has become now the L min. Right? This L, because this condition is your CCM, DCM boundary, has become your L min. Which means I can here use my L min formula. Which is what is the formula? Tell me the formula. 1 minus d uh, 1 minus d square uh, and this here this becomes my element because this is your CCM DCM boundary condition I know this I know the frequency has not changed Frequency is still 300 kilohertz. Okay? D has not changed. The only new variable you have to find out is R. Which? R now is L min, which is 2 into. Consumer, right, or a normal layman. If I come and say, Oh, your load has changed from uh, what is the value here? V square, whatever value. See, some XR to 17 now. Will it make any sense to me? As a user, I'm, I want to know, okay, earlier 25 watt, I'm thinking I'm going to consume a lesser power. What are they? Oh, I'm going to save money in my bill. Right? That makes sense to a layman, a normal person there. That doesn't mean we are not normal, but. <laughs> so, my power output is either V square over R, or you can find out the output, new output current now. This R, right? I know what is V0, right? So, V0 by R is going to give me the I0, and correspondingly, I can find out what is I square R, or the same point I can still use. What is V0? V0 is still 50. It is? Current I am with here is zero. 